As just now in the previous video, we have seen about the implementation of frames. Now we will discuss about the iframes. So basically the iframes will also do the same thing that is in this particular iframe we can load any other HTML document but the only difference which we will see here is that we will not have to create a very separate uh, parent HTML document containing the iframe but in a normal HTML document itself if I want to, for example, if I'm creating a normal HTML document and in one particular section, I want to play a YouTube video. So I can just put the iframe tag in my normal HTML document and that particular section, whatever height and width you are giving it to it, it will open the different window. So let's see how to implement the iframes in your HTML document. So in context of iframes, as I said, that we can add the body in iframes as in the previous implementation of frames it was bodyless it was just a frame set tag in the body area but here we will add the iframe inside the main html body that means you can do the complete page designing but on a particular segment if you want to do some other things like you want to show some video you want to show some other page reference then you can put this iframe so here in this simple implementation what i have done in this body i have put a couple of or three tags here first one is a sample paragraph and last one is a sample paragraph just to check that apart from iframe we can put some more things in the same document and here in the iframe what i have done first of all it is src means which page or which web element you want to show in this iframes and then height and width of that frame so whatever you will put even if it's a video you can show it that on a particular position so let's come here in the browser and refresh it and here you can see document content goes here document content also go here uh, but here you can see in iframe there is the home page of tutorials point which I set here as the source so this is how you can use as many as iframes logically you require on a web page and can refer to the different HTML documents